Cage War the Franchise Guy coming at you again with a brand new episode of our MLB The Show 20. Fiddle for Phillies franchise mode, the 1358 Phillies are taking on the not 1358 Miami Marlins in game 162 of the regular season. Just a throwaway game here. You see Spencer Howard, 32 starts, 10, 5, 3, 88 ERA, 194 innings pitched. 175 hits, a 123 whip, 64 walks, and 250 punch outs. So, I'm not going to throw a strike off season here for Howard, but definitely going to try to hit that 200 inning plateau. You know, with injury concerns with Howard, hitting 200 innings is a great accomplishment. Uh, but a rough start here to slip you up with a lead off single for the Marlins. Uh, but it happens. You got you to gotta take your hits here and there. But that's going to be the only hit he allows that inning, as Caleb Smith will be facing the Phillies. And he's gotten 31 starts, 8 and 7 record, 2 a 6 ERA, 154 innings pitch, under 32 hits, a lot of 117 whip, 48 walks to 170 punch outs. So Smith, a very productive season down here in Miami for a team, not quite in a playoff position, uh, but with one out in the inning, JT Rio Muta, the former Miami Marlins, rolls a walk to put the first base runner of the game on first. You'll have to see that right there as Diaz goes to hold him on. Now 3-2 count to Austin Meadows and Meadows, a very... Batter friendly call right here draws the walk. Smith does not seem to be too happy about that call right there. But back to back walks to uh, Remuto and Meadows. Sets up Reese Hoskins to strike out on that low changeup. Two outs now as Smith picks up the first punch out of the game. Now Smith gets out of that inning, and here comes Spencer Howard with one out. And he's going to get a big punch out here of Logan Morrison. Not Logan Morrison, uh, Corey Dickerson. You know, former Philly power hitter. Uh, but following up that trigger of Dickerson gets another punch out. Now in comes Bryson Stott. And Stott going to chase that Caleb Smith slider out of the zone to end of the inning. So a very, you know, painless inning for Smith as he goes 1, 2, 3. Now Ryan Healy, former Oakland Athletics prospect. Sends down the for a leadoff single here in the third inning. So Healy, you know, not always known for the best bat or the best glove. Gets on base pretty easy there. Reese Hoskins with the back, and he thought he caught that in the air. But I'm probably going to say hit the ground first. It's going to be an error on Hoskins as Smith gets on base safely. And now VR sends that one to left field, and Austin Meadows misplays that one. Is that uh, bronze defense showing? As Smith ends up at third, VR ends up at second. And Miami takes a 1 0 lead. Oh, but Howard goes down swinging right here, so Howard picks up his a third punch out of the game. And now JD Martinez comes up and goes down swinging for the fourth punch out of the game for the Phillies. Now Bryce Harper with one out of the inning swings at that very high four seam fastball right there. Smith picking up his third strike out of the game. Now he gets out of the inning pretty easily as Howard tries to keep this game at one run, striking out the first batter he sees here in the fourth inning. Corey Dickerson struck him out earlier in the game and going to strike him out again. So back to back punch outs and back to back at bats for Dickerson. Jorge Alfaro up now for more Phillies catcher. Goes down swinging. So a 1 2 3 inning for Spencer Harris, who does strike out the side. Now Austin Meadows up trying to you know, trying to do something with his bat after you know, misplaying the field. But goes down swinging for the fourth strike out of the game for the Marlins. Now Reese Hoskins, 3 2 count. And Reese Hoskins would have had ball four right there, but no. Swing on that very low changeup. Five punch outs now for Smith. Smith does get the third out as Howard fans Ryan Healy right here. You know, Howard you know, cruising along so far. Four and a third, eight punch outs. 3-2 count now to Wong, and Wong goes down swinging. Ninth strike out of the game for Spencer Howard. And Caleb Smith, no one to bunt over this time, and a called strike three. So strike down the side and back-to-back -back innings is Spencer Howard. Now has 10 on the game. You love to see that right there. Howard, you know, with a big smile on his face. Just needs the Phillies to get some hits right now as they are lacking that category. But Adam Hazley 
Leading off the bottom of the fifth inning, Kip a leadoff single for the Phillies' first base hit of the game. So, was it for those two uh, walks? It'll be a perfect game for Smith so far. But Kingery, after a Hazley hit, can't get the hits uh, combined as he strikes out. And Smith gets out of that inning without allowing any runs. As here we go, another base knock for the Marlins as that one got under the glove of Alec Bohm. So Howard has been hit around only the one run on the misplay in the outfield. Uh, but J.D. Martinez strikes out. Uh, checking the runner at third, make sure he's not going anywhere and back to first base in time for the out. Uh, Luin Diaz, Luin Diaz, Diaz. All right, Diaz gets a walker there. He's number 69 for the Miami Marlins, playing first base. And Dickerson up again, and Dickerson down again via the punch out. So three strikeouts in three at bats for Corey. And he's not having himself a great day at the plate. But an error on the Phillies a couple of things ago. You hate to see that. Bottom of the six, Bryce Harper chases that. Change up way too low and out of the zone. Seventh punch of the game for Caleb. And now JT up 2-1 count. And JT sends that one in the right center field gap. That's a perfect, perfect shot. And that one's going to clear the wall for a home run. His 32nd on the season. So if there's one thing JT Rumich has done since coming here to Philadelphia, that is hit home runs. Now, he's at a career high in his first season. His second season, he's signed a really big contract extension. Sure, he's held on to that overall pretty well. He's shown some signs of regression. But overall, he's more or less stayed the same. You know, one year, what, he hit 40 home runs a year or two ago? Insane stats from JT Rumito, especially batting in the two hole. You know, a great player to bat around you know, Bryce Harper, Austin Meadows, and Reese Hoskins. But after that home run, Caleb Smith's day is done. Don Mattingly, still the head coach of the Miami Marlins after all these years, is uh, going to say, hey, bud, go hit the shower, go get that warm water, because uh, your day is done. And in comes Eliza Hernandez. And 17 games, Hernandez is 2-3, and three, no saves, 80 innings pitched. 4.15 ERA, 87 punch outs, 32 walks. Raiders are batting 253 and lefties are batting 244 against him. So Eliza, not the worst, but also not the best pitcher out there. But definitely the worst right now as the first batter he sees Austin Meadows demolishes that one down the right field line. No doubt shot. 41st of the season for Meadows as he's going to give the Phillies a 1 to nothing lead. Or I'm sorry, a 2 to 1 lead, a 1 run lead. But, you know, Howard now credited with the win if he comes out and the Phillies can hold on to this win. So a big thing right there for the young pitcher if Philadelphia's offense can just hold hold steadfast right now. Score some more runs and hopefully the pitching can hold steadfast too and not allow any more runs. You know, everyone congratulating Meadows in his first full season with the Phillies. You know, last year was a mid-season acquisition, and it was part of a key, you know, it was a key piece to that World Series victory in 2022. But now in 2023, you know, 40 home runs, not something to scoff at. Reese Hoskins up now, and Hoskins has had a really bad season, strikes out on that changeup. So Hoskins, a couple Ks this game, not which one to see from the Phillies' first baseman. And Alec Bohm also comes down swinging on that two-seam fastball. So Hernandez does come in, allows a home run. Uh, but gets out of the inning nonetheless as Francisco Morales comes in for the Phillies, making his Major League debut. Francisco Morales, a starting pitcher prospect. You know, he's been linked to some trades, but first better sees he gets out. And then Ryan Healy going to single to right field right there. Oh, close play at first, but not quite close enough. Now a double play gets him out of the inning. And Alan, Adam Hazley up now. And Hazley sends that one into the gap. And that one's going to get down the right field. Cannot get there in time. As Hazley cruises into second base standing with a leadoff double. His 40th of the season. Scott Kingery up now. And Kingery watches a, a four-seam fastball down the middle. Only 92 miles an hour. You must hate missing that meatball. And Scott thinking he was going to get a boy on the middle. Swing had a low pitch. And now Morales out for a second inning where he's already got two outs in this inning as he strikes out Howard right here. 
Ryan Howard, not the Big Hurt, not the guy from the Subway commercials, but Alex Avesio in 98 games, 8 and 5, 24 holes, 83 innings pitch, a 506 ERA. Lefties and righties are both petting a shy under 300 against them. As Bryce Harper, the first bat of SCSC, gets a single to lead off the eighth inning. So Philadelphia not getting any of these Miami Marlins pitchers get off easy, you know, going down. Uh, but now Austin Meadows up and Meadows after double play gets out JT and Harper. Sends that one deep into right field and that one is also long gone. 42nd on the season for Austin. As you know, he has just absolutely been killing it since coming over from the Tampa Bay Rays. You know, Philadelphia has made a couple trades with the Rays, and definitely this one has been the best one so far. And the, I guess, for turnaround and return on investment as Phillies did give a couple big players to get Austin Meadows. Uh, but Vesia, who was cruising, did get the double play earlier, like I said. And just runs into Austin Meadows. And that's the problem with his top four Pete Liars in the Phillies uh, offense. And you got Harper, JT, Meadows, and Hoskins. And they are four players who just never want to face. Now, with two outs and I think a 2 2 count to Corey Dickerson. Not a strikeout, but a fly out to left field. Meadows with the grab. You love to see that. Not Joe Girardi congratulating his coaching staff. Good job, good job, high fives, high fives. The outfielders are all going to convene right here. There you go. I'm pretty sure Meadows and Harper came from the wrong fields. Doesn't matter though. We get the big time W here. A 3 to 1 victory over Miami Marlins in game 1 2 of the season. Thanks in part by the long ball right there. JT had a home run. Austin Meadows had two home runs. Not a great game for contact hitting here in Philadelphia as most of the base hits we had got nullified by double plays. Uh, but he said there in his Major League debut, Francisco Morales did in fact record a Major League save in his first uh, game played. So 